Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making peanut brittle. A perfect little gift for the holidays for just any time or just a little snack to have around. Super easy to make, diabetic friendly and gluten free. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. So I'm going to let you guys know right now, this is a very, very simple and easy recipe to make, but everything depends on your microwave. So you have to watch your microwave the entire time that you're doing this. All right, so I started off by using one cup of Splenda. You can use sugar if you'd like instead, but I, you know, I'm diabetic, so I use Splenda. And now I'm using a half a cup of light corn syrup. And all we need to do is just kind of mix this up pretty well, where it's not just dry sugar, it's just... You know, keep mixing. Just mix it and I'm going to show you guys right here in the video so you guys can see what it should look like. This is not my first time making this. I've made this several times in the past. I just never made a video and I don't know why, but here it is today. All right, after you're done mixing, take this over to your microwave. My microwave is 1,250 watts, 1,250 watts. So I did this earlier and it came out burnt and I had to redo the whole entire thing because when I made it before, I guess my microwave wasn't as powerful. So you can see here, I started at three minutes and I stopped at one and a half minutes-ish just to make sure that it wasn't burning this time around. Next, we're adding a tablespoon of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla. Again, we're just gonna mix this up really well together. You don't have to worry about the butter melting all the way through because we are going to pop this right back into the microwave again. So just stir it up and walk it straight over to your microwave and again watch your microwave cooking time. It might take you more or less depending on how many watts your microwave is at. The way that I am making my peanut brittle is more on the chewier side. If you want it to be a harder then go ahead and cook it a little bit longer because the longer you cook it, the higher the temperature of it is all going to be and then it'll be much more crunchier when you guys eat it. Does that make sense? So the longer you cook it without burning it is how it's going to determine how chewy or how crunchy your peanut brittle is going to turn out to be. All right, so next I'm just going to add one cup of peanuts. You can add unsalted or salted that really doesn't matter. This is like a sweet and salty kind of thing for me, so mine is just salted peanuts in it. Give this a little good mix, and then I am adding one teaspoon of baking soda right into the mix as well. And we're gonna stir all of this up because the baking soda and the butter is what makes it easier to chew on. It's just, you know, how it makes it chewier. You guys have to try it in order to understand it, I guess. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I didn't realize how hard this was gonna be to explain to someone that's probably never made this before. <laughs> but I've made this several times and this is, only, this is the only reason why I know. All right, so once you're done with that, grab your parchment paper. You need parchment paper for this. There is no right side of the parchment paper. You can put it on either side, so don't worry about that. And all we have to do is just spread it out where your peanuts are not on top of each other. So it's just one thin layer. Now normally, once all of this is done, because this is it, this that was it, that's how easy this is. All you have to do is let this sit out for one hour so that it can harden up a bit. But if you're like me, 24 hours later, and I popped mine in the freezer because, what I said, just too tired to finish it. <laughs> I popped it in the freezer, 24 hours later, I popped these out, and look how nice and easily breakable they are. They will pull off the entire parchment paper without sticking to the back of your peanut brittles. Break these up to whatever size it is that you want. Once it's sitting out in room temperature, it will become much more chewier. Again, this is just a great holiday snack just to have around the house, or if you want to give these out as gifts to your teachers or whoever it is that you'd like to give it. Very simple and easy recipe to make, and I would highly recommend it because, I mean, my kids have already finished the bowl that I've already made. So if you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it, share it, and until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.